getting started with the Claret USB range. Ableton Live Light, activation and recording. Ableton Live Light is a recording, editing and mixing program that you can use to record with your Claret USB interface. The program can be installed on Mac and PC computers and is completely free to install and activate. Log into your Focusrite account, click on Downloads and Activation Codes in the My Products section and scroll down to Ableton Live Lite. Click here. This will open up Ableton's website. Choose the correct version for your system, then click Download. Once the download is completed, click on the file and run the installer. installed, you can open the program by going to your Programs folder on PC or your Applications folder on Mac. Upon opening Ableton, you will be prompted to activate the software. Click on Activate Now at Ableton.com. This will bring up the activation page on Ableton's website. If you already have an Ableton account, you can log in as normal. If you need to create one, do this now. Your Ableton account is different to your Focusrite account. You'll then be prompted to enter Ableton's activation code. This code can be found within your Focusrite account that we looked at earlier. Copy and paste this code. Ableton Live Lite will then be fully activated. We'll now look at how to record into Ableton using your Claret USB interface. Go to Options, Preferences, Audio. Set the driver type to ASIO and set the input and output device to Focusrite USB. Add the inputs of your Claret interface in the Input Configuration window. Ableton Live Lite is limited to the first four inputs on your interface. Note, this may be shown differently depending on what Claret USB interface you have. Switch the window to the Arrangement view and on an audio track, select the input you have your guitar, bass or mic connected to. We're using input one. Ensure you're applying the correct amount of gain and have switched on 48V Phantom Power if using a condenser mic. Record on the track, then click Record. You can now see the audio being captured. 